students or children who have got special educational needs. I got a request from a number of parents or guardians that I should try and address this area and that's what I'll be covering today. Again, I'm reminding you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done it yet. My YouTube channel is Anna G. Kemani. Please subscribe and once you subscribe, remember to hit the bell so that you can be getting notifications and updates once I upload new videos. I am uploading new videos regularly and at least once a week. So it's good when you subscribe so that you can be able to follow up. Again, once you've subscribed, you'll be able to go back and watch all the videos that I've uploaded in the last few weeks. Again, follow me on my Facebook page. I'm sharing a lot there as well. My Facebook page is Excellence in Education Progress. Again, uh, my website now is live, so check out my website, which is anagkimanipublications.com. Okay, so I said today I'll be looking at uh, the, uh, the, the support that parents or guardians could give to children who have got special educational needs. And I have to remind you again and again, as I've done before, the best help you could get is when you keep in touch with the school or the learning is institution that your child is attending. It's very important to follow up with the school or the learning institution or educational institution where your child or the young person under your care is attending. Okay, so when we say about children who have got special educational needs, so what does that refer to or under what, how are they referred to as children with special educational needs? Because uh, when it's come to education, it, is, it should be inclusive, all children. All children should be able to get proper, quality and outstanding education. So everything needs to be done in accordance or in the best interest of every child. And when it comes to children with special educational needs, I got uh, this from, and I would request you to check it out uh, if you have got access to uh, internet or technology. And I checked it out from uh, Children and Families Act 2014, registration.gov.uk. Again, please check it out. Children and Families Act 2014, registration.gov.uk. So, uh, I'll read. When a child or young person has special educational needs, a child or young person has special educational needs if he or she has a learning difficulty or disability which calls for special educational provision to be made for him or her. A child of compulsory school age or a young person has a learning disability or difficulty if he or she has a significant greater difficulty in learning than the majority of others of the same age. All has a, has a disability which prevents or hinders him or her from making use of facilities of a kind generally provided for others of the same age in mainstream schools or mainstream post-16 institutions. A child at a compulsory school age has a learning difficulty or disability if he or she is likely to be within subsection when a compulsory school age or would be likely if no special educational needs were made. 
A child or a young person does not have a learning difficulty or disability because of language or form of a language in which he or she is or will be taught different from a language or form of language which is or has been spoken at home. So I got that from Children and Family Act 2014, Registration Gov uk again i know i'm addressing parents from across the whole world globally however although i have read what is being provided mainly in schools and learning institutions in the united kingdom when it comes to children or students with special educational needs there is much one can learn from it there is much that other countries can learn from it and put into practice to enrich what they're already doing and if there's a school somewhere that has got no this profession across the whole world then you can learn from that and see what you can do and help out the children in the school or even in the country again that was from children and families act 2014 registration.gov.uk please check it out Okay, so when we come back to the children with uh, special educational needs, uh, we said that education should be inclusive to all the children and every child needs to be taken care of and considerations need to be put into place for all children. So, mainly when it comes to UK, every school will have a specialist personnel trained teacher to look into the need of these children. So this personnel will be the one who will be reading the list of the staff or teachers on what to do in order to support uh, the children who have got special educational needs. They also keep in touch with the families of these children. And mainly in the UK, uh, they are known as SEDICO and SEDICO means Special Educational Needs and Disabilities Coordinator. SEDICO means Special Educational Needs and Disabilities Coordinator. And what are their roles? Uh, their role is the role of the Special SEDICO, Special Educational Needs and Disability Coordinator. Their role will be Special Educational Needs Coordinator work to raise educational achievements by reading and coordinating profession for pupils with special educational needs. That is the role of SEDICO or Special Educational Needs and Disabilities Coordinator. Their role is work to raise educational achievements by reading and coordinating profession for pupils with special educational needs. Okay. So, when it's come to the local authority, because when it's come to the SEDICO, the Special Educational Needs and Disabilities Coordinator, they will follow the provision that is given in the local authority. Again, it depends with where you're coming from, which country you're coming from, because I'm addressing the whole world. So you need to check the provision that they set there in your country to take care of the children who have got special needs. So when it comes to local authority function, according to the Children and Families Act 2014, registration.gov.uk, the local authority function supporting and involving children and young people, I'll repeat, I'll read again there, local authority functions supporting and involving children and young people. Who have got special needs okay and this specifically is from England which is children and young people in England with special educational needs or disabilities okay in exercising a function under this part in the case of a child or young person a local authority in England must have regard to the following matter in particular 
A. In views, wishes and feeling of the child and his or her parent or the young person. B. The importance of the child and his or her parent or the young person participating as fully as possible in decisions relating to the exercise of the function concerned. C. The importance of the child and his or her parent or the young person being provided with the information and support necessary to enable participation in those decisions. And D. The need to support the child and his or her parent or the young person in order to facilitate the development of the child or young person and to help him or her achieve the best possible educational and other outcomes. Again, uh, remind, reminding you that I'm reading this from Children and Families Act 2014, registration.gov.uk and I have looked at children and young people in England with special educational needs or disabilities and the role of the local authority when it's come to that, how they look into that. Okay, so coming back now, uh, we have told you that in the UK, uh, there's a specialized trained teacher uh, known as Sedico in every school, in primary, in secondary, all the way to post 16 up to 18 years because at the moment i'm looking at uh the young people education the camp compulsory education we are not leaving out as well the uh 18 to 24 it's good to check the profession that is there for them so what do the sedico do i said the sedico what they do is they look into what they could do because they are specially trained into this, they look into what they could do to make sure that the children who have got special educational needs are getting the best support. Again, just to bring to your attention that if you are a parent or guardian who have got a child with special educational need and attending a school or a running institution in the United Kingdom, and I'm sure that the school will have informed you this about it, but just to remind you that uh, by law, every school is required to put on their website uh, two things. One, every school must put the special educational needs local authority over. That is, local authority support for families uh, who have got children with special educational need. So, by law, every school in the United Kingdom should be put on the website what the local authority is offering in support for the children with special educational needs. Number two, again, by law, the school, every school in the United Kingdom should put on their website the school special educational needs policy and special educational needs information report. In other words, what the school is doing to support these children, mainly following the local authority offer. Okay, so as a parent or guardian, you need to be able to access the website and see these two offers. What about the local authority? What the local authority is doing? The offer from the local authority and also what the school is doing. You should be able to read from the website. You should have access to it. And again, as I told you that if you're sending your child to school in the United Kingdom, then the school must have informed you about it. If you aren't aware about it, uh, please contact the school and inquire about it. I'm sure you'll be given the right uh, information okay so i said that when the child now is going to school and they have got uh, special educational needs and especially in the united kingdom the, the there is this specialized trained teacher uh, known as sedico or special educational needs and disability coordinator who work alongside these children in order to see that they get the best 
out of the child's best interest. And what CEDICO does, uh, they assess and decide support to be given to the student or child with the best interest of the child or of the student. Uh, in most of the time after the CEDICO or the coordinator assess the child once they come to them to school, then uh, they will advise the subject teachers on what to do. They guide the subject teachers on what to do and mainly when it comes to differentiated planning for this to, to take care of this student according to their needs. So the teacher, the subject teachers will follow the guidelines that they have been given by the by SEDICO in school, the personnel trained to deal with this student with special needs. So they guide the subject teachers on what to do, mainly on the differentiated learning, depending on the need of every child and according to the best interest of the child. And then uh, the teachers will be able to plan the lesson, what they are teaching with the best interest on how this child can get the best, can this, how this child can get the best and to their fullest potential in that subject and across the whole education in the school. Uh, again, uh, CEDICO uh, will, depending on the need of the child, if it is a class where the children, several children need support, it, it, the whole class might be given uh, a teaching assistant or running support to follow these children from subject to subject, from department to department, going to different subject teachers so that uh, the teacher, the subject teacher is teaching these kids and there is further support, additional support to these children. And again, depending on the need of the child or the need of the children, some of the children will be given one-to-one -one teaching assistant who follows them and help them. Uh, they, 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 they follow them to all, in all their subjects, in class, in what they are doing. And again, uh, we said that education uh, is quite broad, so education will cover the curriculum, which is mainly the timetable subject, the extracurriculum, uh, vocational training, and also the trainings all around from home to school. So every child should be included, education should be inclusive, inclusive to all children. Whether the children are going to mainstream schools, some, some students or young people with special educational needs will go to mainstream, main, main, mainstream schools. And this is where CEDICO will come in and assess them and then give guidelines on how they could be given the best support. The other children maybe will go to special uh, schools, special schools where they are taken care of there as well. When it's come to the mainstream school, that's what I have looked at mainly uh, because I'm teaching in a main, mainstream school. Uh, once um, CEDICO, the special educational needs and disabilities coordinator uh, assess the student and then come through the plan come up with the plan and guide the subject teachers maybe we'll assign students a tier running support to follow if it's a whole class or if it is one-to-one -one with the student depending on the need then the CEDICO will look into it in four main areas, that's what I'll be looking at, in the four main areas that they look as they are planning on the need of every child that has got special needs. In a main, I'm talking mainly on the mainstream school. So as I told you, for you parents and guardian, contact and get in touch with the school or the learning institution where a child is attending. When it comes to CEDICO, or the Special Educational Needs and Disability Coordinator at the school level where they are working or where they are based after doing the assessment for the students when they come to their schools. Then following the local authority offer 
for the children with special educational needs. Then they will follow mainly under four categories. And I'm reminding you again, I'm basing this on uh, the profession uh, in schools from United Kingdom and even to be specific in England. But again, every country from where you are coming from, because I'm addressing parents or guardians from across the whole world, I'm sure they have got provisions for these children with special educational needs. So you need to check out. And again, it's good to listen because there's something you can learn from today's session. And even the schools themselves, for those who are in charge of schools, across the whole world, there's something you can learn from this session. If you have got, you, I'm sure you, every school has got something in place, but probably there's something you can learn from this session that you can add into whatever you're already doing. Again, from what I read from Children and Family Act 2014, registration.gov.uk, and according to the profession that is in your country. So coming back to how SEDICO from a UK-based school or even Ingrad-based school will do it, they following the local authority offer or with it, for these children with special needs, uh, they, look, they can look at it as wrong as the provision is being given to the children. And the four broad areas will be cognitive and learning, Sedico look into it in cognitive and learning. So that will involve support with education because we are looking at education. Remember parents or guardians, we are addressing on how you could support children and how you get to get the best out of education. So we are looking at it based in education. So there's a cognitive and learning that is support with education. Sedico guides the subject teachers on need of the student or pupil. Teacher plans accordingly with the best support for the child in their subject. The student may have a running or teaching assistant as a whole class to work with the teacher or alongside the teacher. The teacher guides them on how to support the, the student within the classroom following the planning from the teacher after the teacher has followed the guidelines from SEDICO in, in mind with the best interest of his students in order to give best support to the student so that the student can reach their fullest potential in each subject or in the curriculum, extracurriculum, vocational training, etc. Or depending on the needs, the student may be given one-to-one -one teaching assistant who follows them from one subject to the other, supporting them in the classroom, in the subject. As the teacher is teaching, the teacher will guide the TA, this is what her plan, this is what they need to do. And then because the class might have several students, this teaching assistant specifically work with this student, depending on the need. So it could be a whole classroom teaching assistant or running support, or it could be one-to-one -one where a teaching assistant is assigned to one student depending on the need and they follow them from subject to subject following the curriculum or extracurriculum or other vocational training depending on the need of the of the child when it's come to educational needs okay so number one we say the cognitive and learning and i've explained on that number two is communication the sedico the coordinator look at the speaking needs of the children or the student um visual lesson plan so when it comes to if the child has got problem in maybe speaking uh, then the teacher will be advised to plan more on visual you know the planning needs to be more visual maybe videos etc where the student can see and they'll be able to get more from what is going on in that subject in one what the teacher has planned or in what the teacher has planned uh, listening and hearing so the teacher will be advised maybe on specific sitting plan or area where the student will sit so that they can hear properly if the student has got a hearing aid maybe 
the cervical will assess on where the student will advise the teacher on where to put the students so that if they have got hearing hearing aids it will be not be too much but they're able to hear fully what the teacher is teaching so best sitting position in class or sitting area in class okay uh, when it comes to facial if the student has got facial needs then surgical will identify the subject teachers. When it comes to printing the work or photocopying the work, maybe this student or this child might need a, 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 color, a, a specific color that they can be able to read clearly. Uh, like myself, uh, I have been advised by surgical, and I'm sure other teachers, if I've got a child in my class with such need, when it comes to visual impairment, I would be advised maybe to consider a different color paper, times it could be blue, times it could be pink, uh, depending on the need of the child. And also when it comes to PowerPoint, times we are defined on the color to use or the background color to use, if there is such a child in the classroom, to cater for them, to make sure that they, they themselves are also getting the best from that lesson, from that subject, like any other children of their age. Uh, the other category is sensory and physical so i'm looking at the four broad categories uh, the first one i said cognitive and learning then number two communication number three is sensory and physical uh, again come to visual impairment some of the students depending on the need will have one-to-one -one teaching assistant following them from lesson to lesson to support them and any other requirement that will be required to enrich that lesson that from as the student move from one lesson to another then will be provided maybe a laptop their own laptop etc vesicle uh, do they do the student need help in movement if the, if the student have got uh, have to use wheelchair maybe there's someone assigned to make sure that they help the student in moving from one lesson to another and from one department to another and when it's come to these at times uh, the teacher will be advised to dismiss them at least five minutes before the end of the lesson so that they'll be able to move from one class to another and get there on time as the lesson is starting so they leave at least five minutes earlier so that they can make it to their next subject or lesson on time uh, the other area could be uh, hearing when it comes to sensory and the physical could be hearing so does the student need hearing aid do they have to be sitting somewhere specific in class okay uh, the other category number four is s e m h which means social emotional and mental health when it's come to this after the after cervical special educational needs and disability coordinator after they assess the student if they feel that they have got a need on social emotional and mental health after the assessment they will decide and they will seek for specialized expert they will seek for specialized experts or personnel and this is where they do referrals so cervical will do further referral of these students who have been who have been brought under their care and they're under their care so they'll do referral and seek for specialized um, experts or personnel when it's come to social emotional and mental health and they'll do this with the best interest of the student they'll do this with the best interest of the child so that the child will get to their fullest potential when it comes to education, to the fullest potential that they can get when it comes to education. And many of these referrals will be speech, language, occupational therapist, educational psychologist, school, counselors, etc. So Today, we have been looking at the support that 
children or students with special needs could get. Uh, we are looking at this under the session that have been covering on parents or guardians, what you could do to support the children or young people under your care to get the best out of education. And I said that I got a request from at least two parents on a request me to address this area through my YouTube channel on what I'm covering and sharing. And I did it and I'm reminding you that as a parent or guardian, do not forget to get in touch with the school. Do not forget to get in touch with the learning institution that your child is attending. I know the school is already in touch. I know the school is already providing the best support. If you have got any concerns, then get in touch. Do not keep quiet. Do not be afraid. Get in touch. Schools have got the best interest for the students. There is a specially trained personnel teacher known as SEDICO and especially in the schools in the United Kingdom. And this SEDICO look into the welfare of the children with special educational needs so that they can get the best and reach their fullest potential. And we said that, or I said that education is inclusive. All children should get the best out of education. Even those who have got special educational needs, their welfare needs to be looked into so that they can lead to their fullest potentials. 